Installing the Kohler Whitehaven Self-Trimming Apron Front Sink, Short Apron Model. For the installation, you will need the following tools and materials. Tape measure, level, safety glasses, painter's tape, saw, clamps, construction adhesive, silicone sealant. Suitable support framing material no greater than 1 and 1 half inches thick. Screws to secure the support framing. Screws will need to be short enough so they will not extend through the inner walls of the adjacent cabinets. This sink is intended for installation to a standard sink base cabinet. For instance, the 30-inch sink is intended for installation to a standard 30-inch base cabinet, and the 36-inch sink is intended for installation to a 36-inch base cabinet. Inspect the supply tubing and drain piping to the installation site. Repair or replace if needed. Observe all local plumbing and building codes. Important! Before beginning this installation, Verify the measurement from the top of the cabinet to the top of the doors is greater than the height of the apron. The base cabinet should be installed, secured, plumb, and level. Carefully remove the false drawer front from your cabinet. Be careful not to damage the face or structure of the cabinet. To protect the cabinet finish when cutting, apply painter's tape to the cabinet. Use this surface when marking measurements. Measure in 7 eighths of an inch from the outside of the cabinet wall. Mark this measurement on the cabinet face. Repeat for the other side of the cabinet. Cut along the marked line until your cut extends slightly below the front rail of the cabinet. Repeat for the other side. Follow along the bottom edge of the rail and cut toward the outside of the cabinet until you intersect with your first cut. Repeat for the other side. If your cabinet has a center support, cut along the bottom edge of the opening to remove it. Remove and discard the rail. Important! Use appropriate fasteners and techniques when constructing the support framing to ensure the framing will support a minimum of 300 pounds. When constructing the support framing, keep in mind the top of the sink must not extend above the top edge of the cabinet. The top surface should sit approximately 1 16th inch below the top edge of the cabinet. Measure down 5 eighths of an inch from the top edge of the cabinet. Mark this distance on both inside walls of the cabinet. Verify the lines are level. Cut two lengths of support framing material to fit along the inside walls of the cabinet. Apply construction adhesive to one of the supports and align the top of the support with one of the marked lines. Verify the support is level, then use clamps to hold the support in position. Secure the support with screws. Install the second support. For additional support, you can install vertical supports to run from the installed supports to the floor of the base cabinet. If available, install the strainer assembly to the sink. Notice, risk of personal injury or property damage. Cast iron sinks are heavy. Get help when lifting or moving the sink. Lower the sink onto the supports. Verify the sink is fully supported. Push the sink in until the apron is snug against the front of the cabinet. Verify the sink is level. Make any adjustments or shim as needed. Apply silicone sealant around the sides and back of the sink. Install the countertop. Apply a thin bead of silicone sealant where the sink meets the countertop and cabinet. Immediately wipe away any excess sealant. Install the faucet. Connect the strainer to the drain piping. Run water into the sink and check all connections for leaks.